Today we're answering viewer messenger mail, uh, where the person has asked me how to sync multiple microphones for a video podcast. Let's answer that coming up next. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. Today's video is brought to you by my ebook, brand new and freshly released, hot off the press, The Six Clever Ways to Monetize a Podcast. This is an ebook that I've been working on for months. And those of you who have been subscribed to my channel know that I've been working on it for months. And you have gotten on the email list and you have received that ebook. It is now for sale on my website. Uh, you can go ahead and check it out. The link is down in the description below, along with a coupon code that is current as of right now. That coupon code will change, but it will get you uh, a discount on the book for a certain percentage. It's always changing, like I said, so make sure you check it out and grab the book. And of course, the book is just everything on how to monetize a podcast, all the experience that I'm using from the, my radio experience all the way to my digital marketing experience and fusing it all into one and teaching you how to monetize not only off sponsorships, but also off the current content that you are already creating and how you can basically reuse that content to get paid. So make sure you download the six clever ways to monetize a podcast on my website, theshaman.com. Again, the link is down in the, descri the description below. So today what we are talking about is a question or answering viewer messages uh, from uh, Dennis Hennigan. He actually sent me a message earlier today and I thought, well, this would be a really great video to uh, talk about. And he asked the question, uh, I want to sync multiple mics for a video podcast that I am doing with my brother. And I thought, well, let's go ahead and let's, let's answer that question for him. So this is what he had to say. He says, here's what I'm trying to do. I want to film video via a webcam USB in my PC and I want my, the audio to be me in one microphone and my brother in another microphone. The kicker is I haven't found out how to get all three to sync at once. To limit the post-production time, like if I stop the video, I'd like to stop the audio all in sync. Otherwise, in post, I'll have to watch second by second to line up the audio and video. Uh, do you have any insight on how to make this happen? Any help would be greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for the message, Dennis. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you guys ever have a question, you're more than welcome to reach out to me on Facebook Messenger and uh, hit me up or on, on Instagram as well, and we'll try to communicate communicate that way, okay? So first of all, I will tell you this right now. The solution that I'm about to share with you is not going to be the best solution. There are plenty of YouTubers out there that are creating different types of solutions for this problem, um, and it's not necessarily that they are any better or, I, or they're any worse, but it's their solution, and that's why I'm pro uh, providing my own solution to this particular problem. So what I will share with you is how I do video podcasting because I do have one, one client that does video podcasting podcasting, but in the case of Dennis, I want to share with you a simplified version of how you can create this or replicate this type of setup so you're not having to sync up the audio back and forth. And I do understand, Dennis, that it is a hassle because I have done this before. I still continue to do it, but I am very good at doing it now. So first, we need to start with the equipment and what you need to get, all right? Now, if you're starting from scratch and starting from the very base of everything that you need, all right, we are talking about you don't have any microphones whatsoever. I will say this, first of all, USB microphones will not work for this particular setup. You cannot plug two uh, USB microphones into your PC uh, and then try to record, uh, you know, synced audio uh, together. It's just going to be. Uh it's going to be uh, too impossible to do for your PC. So you might as well just scratch that out. Now, if there is a solution, I would be more than happy that you leave a comment down in the section below and let me know, but it's not possible, all right? If you, especially if you want to get great audio, okay? So the first piece of equipment that you're going to want to get will be the Yamaha MG10XU mixing board that I recommend to all of the podcasters on this channel that I, I, I let people know all about, okay? I have a basic podcasting setup that I have used. There's a video that I'll go ahead and link up here for you if you want to Check it out. Also, it would be at the end screen of this video if you want to learn more about that basic podcast setup. But that is the mixing board that I would recommend that you use for everything that you do. There are many different mixing boards, but this one is probably probably the most affordable and best sounding one. I've been using it for years, and it has never led uh, done me wrong whatsoever. Okay, so consider the Yamaha uh, MG10XU. What I'll do is leave a link for that uh, piece of equipment down in the description below for Amazon. It will be an affiliate link, so if you do purchase through that link, it will will push a kickback to me, a commission, and uh, for recommending the item to you, okay? The next step will be to get some microphones. Now, whether you want to get a couple of high LPR uh, 
PR uh, 440s to complement this mixing board or you want to use some Shure SM58s. It's going to be completely up to you. I have an essential equipment guide that you can go ahead and download. That is also in the description or I'll leave it up here as well for you to go ahead and download. But that has all the information. Just decide which microphone that you want to get. You're going to need to get some uh, some some basic XLR cords if you want to plug into that uh, mixing board. And that's about it. Now the software that you're going to need in order to capture the recording uh, is going to be uh, Camtasia for PC or ScreenFlow for Mac. Now you can get Camtasia for Mac, but it does cost a little more. And I will say this for PC users, getting Camtasia is a little bit pricey. I can't remember what the exact price is on it. I think the last time I purchased Camtasia, it could have been $200, maybe it's $300. You'll have to check their website. Um, I do know they do software updates every year, and that might be another $50, $100. Again, check their website. They're going to be able to give you more information on whether or not uh, those prices are in sync with what I can remember, okay? But Camtasia is going to be the software that you're going to be using for PC, okay? Now, here's the story. Um, using Camtasia, what it is is a screen recording software, and what it does is allows you to screen record whatever is going on on your PC or your laptop or whatever it is that you're using. So it's for presentations, if you like to do webinars, if you like to do tutorials, um, you've seen plenty of those here on YouTube. That's what Camtasia is used for. ScreenFlow does exactly the same thing, all right? Now, uh, what's going to happen is that you're going to want to open up Camtasia and you're going to want to uh, uh, set up your uh, Yamaha MG10XU mixing board and plug that in. That, so that's going to be a USB that's going to plug into your PC, all right? So once you have that plugged in and your microphone's plugged in, now you have two pieces of audio that are going to be able to record, all right? You're going to also want to set up your camera. Your camera's going to need to be set up as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Camtasia and I will show you uh, the basic setup for this. Okay, so uh, I need to I need to do a couple different things here. So let's uh, let's uh, take this question down, and then here we are. And you're going to see that in the background, I'm actually recording via ScreenFlow right now for this particular video. So what you're going to want to do is do a new recording. So we'll go ahead and click on a new recording, and then. Uh, what you want to do is you want to select your webcam. So you'll want to turn your webcam on, and then uh, Camtasia would like to access your camera, and then say yes. Uh, we'll just say it's using the FaceTime uh, Mac camera here, and then you're going to want to choose the uh, microphone. And so once you select the microphone, once you select that on, if you're going to turn it on, you're going to see here that there is audio going through. This is actually going through my, my laptop's microphone. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to select the uh, Yamaha, and once, once it's listed there, you'll see it'll say like MG, uh, MGXU, I believe is what it'll say if you have it plugged in. You'll want to select that, and your audio is ready to go. And once you're ready to start recording on your screen, may, or recording from your webcam, you'll want to press Start Recording, and it will start recording, and you can start recording your video podcast. Once you are recording with Camtasia, this is going to sync the audio and the video together. So you'll be able to see this. And what Camtasia will do is it'll put it directly into the timeline of the actual um, the actual program itself. So you'll be able to see the audio and the video itself. Okay, let's jump into Camtasia and I'll show you what happens after you finished recording a piece of video that's got synced audio. What Camtasia is going to do is it's going to put your piece of video into the timeline itself. I've dragged this uh, video into a timeline because this video that I've recorded in the past. And what you're going to see is this block here. And you're going to see a block that is actually video. And if I scrolled over, you could see that like it's it's the time the timeline of the video, all right? The little waveforms are the synced video or the synced audio to the video, okay? So you can see that here. So in this particular case, this is audio that is recorded from my phone. So you hear that it sounds like it comes from my phone, but I am talking about, um, or I am talking in sync with the video. What you can do to monetize your podcast, this guide will definitely help you out. Just go ahead and click the link down. In so you see that it is synced. Now, uh, if you ever wanted to split the audio itself, you could right click and then of course you can come over here and you could so you could uh, separate the audio and the video if you ever needed to so we're going to go ahead and separate the audio and the video and then you see that there's two separate tracks if you ever needed to do that okay um, I would press control C or command Z uh, to put it back on the timeline but the only time that I would do this actually it's the only time that I do it is when I separate the audio from the video is 
what I do for most of my videos, I'll separate it out and then I will mix just the audio down and then I'll process it inside of Audition to make it sound a little louder and a little better. So that's what I'm doing with my videos. That's why the audio sounds a lot more clear and clean for all of my videos. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and re-import that audio back in and I'll sync it with this piece of audio and then what I'll end up doing is just deleting that piece of audio with this and then putting in and making sure that the synced audio is in place but that's pretty much how I would do that, okay? The other setup that I talked about was uh, recording a video podcast with multiple cameras and this is a little bit more complicated of a setup and it's actually a little bit more expensive and what you're going to need is all the equipment that I mentioned in the previous setup um, but what you're going to need actually as far as software is concerned you're going to need not only Camtasia but you'll need something like OBS uh, which can handle multiple cameras and you'll need like multiple cameras multiple webcams or multiple DSLRs um, in order to create this uh, um, multiple camera effect and it can uh, get a little confusing now I know there are some people out there I know George shower who watches this video I believe he does work off of two cameras I can't be for sure but if George is out there go ahead and answer in the uh, comment section below and let me know what your setup is but I do know that if you use OBS it will work it is a little clunky but if you want to go up the paid route you would have to use something like Wirecast another option for Mac users would be to use eCam uh, eCam has a brand new um, uh, uh, set up to where you can uh, record multiple cameras at the same time or, rem or someone remotely as well. So that is an option. But I will tell you this, uh, Wirecast does cost a lot of money. I think they're upwards near $300, $400 for their software, I think. So that's just something to consider. It may not be worth it for you. You may just want to sit side by side with your co-host and that's how you do your podcast, all right? You got to get creative with certain ways of how you will create a podcast, especially if it's for video. So you got to just really kind of think outside the box and think about which way you want a video podcast. Do you want multiple cameras or can you just live with one camera, okay? Now, if you're going to use a uh, Wirecast, just know that you're going to have to have uh, multiple bodies. You're going to have to have a body that is creating those jump cuts back and forth between you and your guest host. Um, that's just the way it is. That's what I do with my client right now. She interviews someone else and uh, there's two different cameras on two different, pe different people and I'm the one that's running the controls. So it gets a little confusing. So I would recommend just using the very first setup if you're going to want to record a video podcast using one web camera. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up down below. And of course, while you're down there, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the little bell right to the side so you can get notified when I will drop one of these videos. And you know what would do me a huge favor is if you shared this video out with a friend of yours on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever, let them know about my channel and all the videos that I have. You can go back into my library and learn all about how you can start up your own podcast. There are playlists for you to check out. You can check out different playlists that are going to be at the either at the end screen or up above here if I have some time or room for the card. Uh, but there's all kinds of videos that will definitely help you out and get you started on your podcasting journey. And of course, if you need uh, all the details on the essential equipment to start your podcast, go ahead and uh, click up here for the essential equipment guide. That will definitely get you started on which equipment that you can go ahead and get the link is also down in the description below check the description for all the details of what i've got to offer for you to start your podcast in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and thank you so much for all the support that you've given me over the course of the year of creating and rebooting this channel it means so much to me i'll see you next time